What is going on, everybody? It is the Misfit Bear, and welcome back to Blair Witch. We have to let go of the doggy, but we will hold him again later. Wonder why it was telling me to hold it to let him go. You're such a good boy, Bullet. Where would I be without you? Nowhere. Uh, I'm okay. Yeah. Ooh. I'm okay. Good boy. Good boy. After that really big PTSD trip, which literally set him back to, you know, being in the trenches, you know, all of that stuff. I mean, I feel for this guy, but wow. I don't know if I could handle it, man. I don't know if I could handle it. But of course, we we found Lanning. I don't know what happened to him. Apparently, one of the people that was with him might have got him. Um, I don't know. I'm trying to make heads or tails of any of this. We're running from chopper fire and all that stuff. Well, it might not have been chopper fire. Fuck. Okay, and what the hell is that growling noise? Like, what... What is that? What is that? I would really like to know what that is. Because one minute I'm having to do some sick Alan Wake strats, and then the next minute I'm freaking running away from this bus saw group of bushes and I don't understand. <laughs> Sawmill Camp A. Okay, so I definitely can't go this way, right? We won't be able to sneak by this time. I don't know. Maybe what... Oh, that's a no. That thing will head right for me. Okay, so I'm gonna go this way. We're gonna go all the way over Wait, here. Is that a railroad track? Uh, Let's see where it leads. Yes, I'm pretty sure it's a rail a railway track, a railroad track. We've kind of been walking on it ever since we got over here, thinking we were gonna be able to sneak past the bus saw bush. That's what I'm gonna call it. I'm gonna call it bus saw bush. Who in the world is? Uh, and I also noticed something. It's like. Whenever you, uh, whenever you, um, get a text message, you see the little signal thing. So it's like as soon as I'm, you know, in cellular service is when I get, uh, should I call you? Yeah, I, you know what? Hold on a second. I never did this before. I've never done this before. I want to try this. Hey, Jess. Hey, you feeling better? She actually answered. Yeah, I, I think so. It's just, um... What? What is it? <sighs> Jess, I, uh... There's something really messed up going on in these woods. Okay. If you're trying to scare me, it's working. I'm sorry. I can't explain it now. I... I wouldn't even know where to start. Just listen. If anything happens, I want you to know. Hey, stop it, Ellis. You don't get to do this. You run off into the woods, you ignore my calls, and now you give me this end of the world speech. It's not fair. I was in a parallel universe. We don't get reception in a parallel universe. What you looking at, buddy? I n I didn't actually think that would work. What you see, buddy? Should I have like been calling her before now? I said I seriously did not think that that was gonna actually work. Real car. But I guess now that I noticed the, the little signal tower thing, maybe now it's something I need to pay attention to. Oh, so we ride in the rail car. Bullet, come on, let's go for a ride, buddy. 
Jump on board. Oh, you want good dog? All right, let's see what we got going on here. Model, manufactured by Cuthbert Railway Workshops. Direction lever, power switch, forward, backward, brake lever. Okay, so I pretty much got the gist of it. That's how you turn it on. That's how you move it forward and backward. That's how you tell it to stop. So, okay, let's, let's see here. Forward. Brake. Oh, sweet! But wait, wouldn't we technically be heading right for the bus saw bushes? Unless there's a way to uh, redirect the tracks. Or we're just going to run over the bus saw bushes, in which case, that would be fun. Okay. We weren't heading in this direction. And break. What do we have here? At least the at least the generators are working and Wait, hold on. I know a little bit about uh this stuff from watching cartoons. So if we uh push this over that way, won't it send us the other way? Hold on, let me let me let me make sure I'm right for a second. I'm gonna go back and look, but I wanna make sure I'm right. Oh wait, 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 wait! I was right! We're getting off, buddy. But it was already set. Okay, so I'm gonna I'm gonna put this back. No I need to stop messing with stuff, but apparently I'm gonna have to move this big freakish log. Too heavy to push aside. Uh, I'm pretty sure I'm pretty sure you could hulk out stop giving up permits in the 60s <laughs> this is ancient hmm, looks like some kind of a winch gotta be a way to turn it on you push the on button but then again this thing is so old I'm pretty sure you have to power it using uh using fuel oh, hey a tape Will you tell me the information I need to know, Mr. Tape? All right, here we go. Now, uh, it's pretty basic, actually. First, uh, you need to ignite it, like, like this. Uh Game, you're not slick. I heard that. Okay, so, uh... It's a valve, but the handle's missing. Okay. Oh, it seems escaping. Pressure's not gonna build up. Okay, so we need the little pressure gauge. Come on, buddy. We need the pressure gauge and uh, a little winchy winch to get this thing spinning. What's this? Another dog tag. How the hell did they get here? I've been finding those all over the freaking place, man. All right, let's watch the rest of the tape. Right. Now, once you're done, you put the fire out and you close the pipes. Bless you. Okay, that was kind of freaky. <laughs> that was kind of freaky, but I, I, I get the gist of it. We just got a new delivery. Come to the maintenance shed to pick up the parts you need or wanted, Robert. Uh, uh, ha having a having a couple issues here. Uh, um. D is it stuck? It it's stuck. Oh, damn it, it's stuck. Hold on a second. Whistle, safety valve, pressure gauge, pressure control valve, firebox. Okay, I don't know what happened, but it did. <laughs> Sorry about that. I am here. Maintenance shed is that way. The maintenance shed looks promising. 
Maybe there's some spare parts left. Camp B. Okay. So that's no longer running. So now I have to go to the maintenance shed. And hopefully we're gonna be able to get these parts. Come on. Get old donkey going. Let's see. Oh, of course, I had to restart. It's not on. It was on, but the game is being douchey right now. Crap, crap, crap. We're getting off. <sighs> this is, uh, this has all of a sudden become an annoying episode. It has, but We're going to get this done. We're going to push this back. We're going to push that forward. So it backs us up. And we're going to go a good distance back. Before I say, let's move forward. And not hit the log. Why did it hit the log earlier? Oh, Jesus Christ! Are you serious with me right now? You got me over here spitting and everything! Freaking, what is this, a generator? Daggummit, game! <laughs> oh, the... Oh, well, look, it's the maintenance shed. What a shocker. At least I found it. C come on, bruh. I don't need this shit right now, okay? I'm already having to deal enough with the freaking game glitching out on me. I don't need your freaking I rule the darkness glitchy ass getting in me and my dog's way. It does not need to happen. It will not happen because these Alan Wake strats reign supreme. Stop moving so damn much. Thank you. Come on, bruh. Ugh. Alright, is that it? Is that all you got? You tried to freaking sneak attack me and it didn't work? Man. <laughs> oh, what's this? God. I'm so sorry. Another dog tag. Apparently our boy has some regrets. Did he like... Was he like scared whenever his unit came under fire and he like tried to hide or something? Is that what happened? That's what I'm wondering what happened because I think he's seeing all of the dog tags of his old unit. Man, there's so much open area back here. Holy crap. Oh, hey, look, it's the freaking uh, pressure gauge or pressure valve. Something like that. Well, there's that. There you go, buddy. Bring it to me. After this, you get a biscuit. One down, one to go. Yeah, good job, buddy. You want a biscuit? Do you want a biscuit? You get the biscuit. Yeah, good boy. Good boy, bullet. You get biscuit and pets. All right, now back to the cart. Let there be lights. Uh, really? Already? Already. Y'all were mad that I whooped y'all last time, so I'm gonna get you through the log. I am going to deny physics, and you are gonna back the fuck up. So there are multiple ones, basically. 
Or is it the same one? No, I'm pretty sure it's different ones at this point. I see you. Oh. Oh, that was it. So, you went to go and get your buddies. It's like, hey, man. This guy's got some sick Alan Wake strats. What is that popping noise? Anyway, regardless. He's like, hey, man. This guy's got some sick Alan Wake strats. I need some help. That's how we're playing this, huh? Creepy noises. Faulty electricity. Fuses. Go figure. Ouch. Hey! I should have known better. You never touch the you never touch a blown fuse with the power still Ooh, on. Maybe they had some spares lying around. I should have known better. Worst case scenario, you go in blind. Well, I'm gonna see if there's some spare, you know. Some spare thingies. Oh, hey, a piece of paper. Okay. Background summary and reasons for referral. Patient brought in by parents due to extreme panic attacks. Insomnia and sleepwalking after a traumatic experience. I advised three therapeutic sessions per week. During a preliminary interview, I was able to determine the following. The patient actively avoids recalling the event. He experiences vivid nightmares since the event possible coping mechanism. He exhibits emotional numbness, irrational aggression, and disassociation to the event. Overall, he is very nervous, possibly undiagnosed anxiety neurosis. There's that, uh, deer. I remember seeing that in a picture, or the, uh, the little, uh, video thing when I was tripping out. Could that be my thing? Could that thing belong to me? Oh, hey, look at that. Well, hello there. A fuse. Just casually sitting in a toolbox. Thank you, game. The simplicity of your mechanics is, in fact, enlightening. Let's get that little bad boy in there in 3, 2, 1, boosh! There we go. Alrighty. So, if I remember reading... There's also one of those steam donkeys up here as well, right? And this camp... I mean, why else would I be coming up here? I'm supposed to be getting spare parts. And if the gaming universe made it possible for there to be a fuse, you betch your booty there's gonna be a steam donkey. Somewhere. Alright, so pay attention to the ground. That's gonna be my path. How y'all doing? Y'all y'all good? Got your snacks? Got your fruit roll-ups, all that stuff? Aha! This one is barely holding up. Let's see if there's anything to salvage. Yep. It all looks rusted and everything. This looks like a humongous Crayola. Oh, what a shocker. How are you doing, my winchy friend? All right, so we found that. What's over here? Anything? Ooh, another paper. This is written, though. When I took the camera from that old fool, it was full of senseless chatter. But I saw it. I saw the things it can really do. Through it, I could look into the darkness and see the creatures that lurk there without being seen. Through it, I can see the things that escape my eyes. And through it, I can gaze back into the things I have done. It won't let me forget. Interesting. Is he talking about the camera we have? I mean, it really makes me wonder if he's talking about the camera we have. But, I mean, is that everything? He said one down, another to go, so... Hey, I guess we're getting out of here now. Let's get back to our steam donkey. Alrighty, use the tape to set fire to the thingy. Break out the flashlight just in case I need some strats. Put the winchy there. Put the valvey there. And... 
Turn the wench. Oh, hey, look at that. It's moving. Okay, so it says I have to leave it in the green. Okay, I have to balance it. Whoa, 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 whoa. I have to balance it. I have to keep it going myself. Right there? Yeah, that's perfect. Little more to the right. All right, we're about to be done here. Clear. Hey! Come on, buddy. Back on track. Hell yeah! Let's freaking go! Let's freaking go! Okay, so I have to turn this again. And back on track. There we go. All right, get in the cart. Come on, bullet. We got a bastard to find. We gonna kill him. It's already forward. All right. So, we're off to the... Wait, 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 wait. Wait, hold on a second. Hold on a second. I could have sworn I... You saw me switch that thing. You saw me switch it. You saw me do it. You saw me do it. So why in the world did it send me that way again? All right. Now Let's move forward. You gonna send me to the left again, game? Huh? No, I didn't think so. I don't know why you did in the first place. Oh my gosh, man. All right. Anybody out there need some Alan Wake strats? Oh, man. I don't know what I would do if I was in this predicament. Because, number one, the dark freaks me out. The dark freaks me out hardcore. Oh, is the sun starting to come up? Or is this just... Ambiance. I will admit it is a it is a nice little ride. It's a nice little ride. Okay, so what do I do here? Do I just keep going? Oh, it looks like I just keep going. So I needed the cart, apparently. I don't like him either. We'll be out of here soon. Yeah, I don't like the freaking buzzsaw bushes. But I guess they just don't approach it. Whoa. Shit. Whoa. Whoa. Don't stop now. No, don't stop now. Come on, cart. <laughs> You can do it, cart! <laughs> Don't you break two! Thank you! Can it go? Whoa! Hey! Is there anything I can do to prevent these guys from bashing against my cart? Anything at all? Alright, looks like we're we're in the clear. Oh my god. 
What? Oh my god, why does it have to be a bridge? Oh, oh boy. Stay still, boy. Very still. Very still. Okay, you're still there. You all right, buddy? He's still there. Oh my gosh. Looks like this is our stop. Get enough, buddy. You have got to be joking me, man. That was too close. That would have been death. Jess. Yeah. Other than a precarious yeah, no, no, uh, no. rail cart ride, I'm good. Thing. Yeah, I know I'm not making any sense right now, but that's the thing. Uh, I think I'm starting to lose it, Jess. I, I see things, and I don't even know if they're real or not. I, I, I don't know which is worse. God damn it, Ellis! I, I can't do this again. I'm sorry, but I can't. Jess, please. I need you. You need help, Ellis. I tried to be there for you, I really did, but you keep pushing me away. Keep going deeper and deeper. Mm. Jess. No, Alice, I'm sorry, but I won't let you drag me down with you. God damn it. Okay, I'm sorry, I'll call you later. Oh, man, but hey, I mean, you know, that's the reality of it, man. You can't sit there and expect people to be there for you when you push them away. You know, I have that issue. Like, all the time. And my light is starting to die. Um, this is a pretty good opportunity to, you know, end the episode here anyways. But like I was saying, on a real serious note, if you need somebody, the last thing you want to do is push them away. Because eventually, people are going to get sick and tired of it. And they're not going to be there anymore. Like I was saying, with me, for example, there have been so many times where I've tried to be there for somebody and I was kind of ousted. I was just pushed away. And I hate it. It's a terrible feeling because I'm the kind of person that loves being there for people. Because most of the time, ain't nobody else there. But when you push the only person you have, what kind of person does that make you out to be? So never forget to hold on to the people that you have. Because you never know when you'll need them. And if you do need them, whether or not they're going to be there. On that note, I'll see y'all next time. I appreciate all of you for watching. Like and subscribe for more. For I will continue to make these videos for many moons. Stay safe out there. And never forget to holla at your bear. Peace out.